Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Simlund and in today's video we're gonna talk about my personal supplement routine. Before I begin, I have to clarify like what is my purpose with different kind of supplements. The reason why I would consider taking a supplement has to do with like, yeah, like just the longevity benefits, anti-aging benefits. I don't even need like sleep supplements per se. I don't need any like uh, specific supplements for certain like conditions or deficiencies. The only reason I am taking different supplements is primarily for like the longevity benefits. And this is a warning i'm also going to name like some specific brands that i'm using because i know like there are going to be dozens of people asking like what kind of brand are you taking for that kind of a supplement so i'm just going to already preemptively name them in the video and you can check out some of the links for those uh, products as well in the description chill out usually after i wake up i don't take like my supplements immediately I'm going to pretty much wait like an hour or two and I uh, usually do them like on an empty stomach and without any like coffee or without any teas or anything like that. So the supplements I take in the morning within uh, one to two hours after waking up, one of the main ones is a Cert 6, which is a product by Do Not Age. And uh, this is uh, actually like a new compound and obviously Cert 2 means many people know that Cert 6 specifically is the one that is uh, helping with DNA repair and also like some aspects of circadian regulation so this is a very let's say new supplement we don't have like that much research about this but it's definitely not one of the like the priority list of supplements uh, to take another supplement that i'll usually take in the morning would be like nmn so uh, this is also for nad production and uh, nmn is uh, we do have studies on nmn and its benefits for raising nad levels of course nad levels are one thing that do go down with age i don't take nmn every day because I'm still very young my nad levels are naturally very high i don't have any like energy issues the only time i am taking the nmn is at times where um like i might have like had a bad night's sleep i might have had some circadian mismatch or if i just feel tired like every once in a while whatever i'll just take like this nmn and on the other days where i'm not taking the nmn then i do still want to support the natural nad recycling so this is where the niacinamide uh, comes into play so when your body is producing nad most of it goes back into the recycling pathway and uh, niacinamide is actually one of the bottlenecks of that uh, salvage pathway so niacin is another nad booster but niacin works through a different pathway niacin or nicotinic acid works through the price handler pathway so there's three pathways of producing nad price handler pathway the de novo biosynthesis pathway which uses tryptophan and the salvage pathway the vast majority of your daily nad comes from the salvage pathway and this is the one that uh, decreases with age as well like the elderly aren't able to recycle their nad that much which is the reason why they have uh, such low nad levels part of the reason and niacinamide is the bottleneck for boosting the sal or making sure that the salvage pathway works properly and the circadian rhythm alignment is actually also uh, the bottleneck uh, part of the bottleneck for the salvage pathway so that's why you know, obviously bright light exposure is crucial and uh, maintaining circadian rhythm alignment and uh, niacinamide is in there so that I'm, I'm kind of like targeting the nad salvage pathway of boosting the salvage pathway so that it'll work uh, properly so this is not the same as niacin like the niacin is different it works through a different pathway and <laughs> there's a, like a limit of how much benefit or how much nad you would get from the price handler pathway which is the niacin pathway so that's why you overcome that limit with the salvage pathway so you can pretty much make infinite amounts of nad if you have the nad uh, salvage pathway working properly for that you need circadian rhythm al alignment and niacinamide so the niacinamide is different as niacin <laughs> i'm personally not taking niacin uh, although it has pretty good benefits for the lipid profile and uh, cardiovascular disease health trimethylglycine so if you are taking nmn then uh, you do lose some of the methyl donors so the nmn can make you excrete some methyl donors and methylation is obviously very important and tmg also has like other benefits like it actually helps to lower homocysteine levels which is important for cardiovascular disease again next supplement that i take is a glucosamine so this is just a regular glucosamine sulfate that i'm taking i'm taking three grams so that's the higher dose that you want to take uh, and lower doses really haven't been found to be effective so only like doses of up to 1.5 to 3 grams has been found to be actually beneficial for the joints 
and stuff like that i'm taking it for the cartilage the joints but also like the anti-inflammatory benefits and the autophagy regulating benefits so glucosamine is an autophagy regulator it's an anti-inflammatory and in a lot of like several epidemiology studies they find that the glucosamine use is associated with uh, reduced all-cause mortality and reduced cardiovascular disease mortality next supplement is hmb which um, is this kind of sub brand iron max I don't think that many people or most people won't need this supplement because I mean HMB is just a metabolite of leucine so first of all it's much more expensive than regular leucine and it's uh, certainly if you don't need it if you're eating breakfast for example so I take it in the morning in the fastest state to mitigate against muscle catabolism so I do like a pretty extended fasting window so I have a pretty narrow eating window because I'm also very physically active I train a lot I have good amount of muscle mass, I'm pretty advanced in like strength training and stuff like that. So I take this supplement to counteract some of the potential muscle catabolism that might occur if I'm just, you know, fasting too long. The only thing is, yeah, like if you are eating breakfast, then you don't need it <laughs> because this is only gonna like counteract the lack of eating. Glycine and NAC. So glycine I take multiple times a day and uh, I take in this, I'll actually make tea. So the first kind of supplement that I take in the morning is uh, just some uh, tea with a little bit of glycine, like a teaspoon of glycine, makes the tea a bit sweeter. And uh, some, day, some days of the week, I'll take NAC because the NAC plus glycine combo is very powerful for boosting glutathione. And we have several human clinical trials showing that the glycine NAC combo is beneficial for reducing the hallmarks of aging, improving many aspects of age-related decline. I don't take it every day. NAC might reduce some of the adaptations to uh, muscle hypertrophy training. That's why I'm taking the NAC only on generally like the rest day Days or some days if I am training in the afternoon or something then I'll take the NSE on the morning it's not necessary to take it like every day if I were to be like older then I would take it every day but um, at my age I don't need to take it every day and it might actually be counterproductive on some of the days and last supplement on the list is calcium alpha ketoglutarate at least like uh, in 2021 we had this one study show that six months reduced the biological age of humans the next time I'm taking supplements is before my workout so I usually work out in like the noon time around 12 to 2 p.m. so I'll have a whey protein to support the muscle anabolism and reduce the muscle catabolism so I think that working out fast that is fine you're just not gonna see that you're not gonna see that much results after a certain point you're gonna hit a plateau if you always work out fast that I'll get 30 grams of protein from the whey protein which is usually like one and a half scoops of the protein that I'm taking and uh, into there I'll also had uh, collagen peptides so I'll take like 10 grams of collagen peptides something like that because collagen before a workout is going to help with the collagen synthesis in the joints. We have studies showing that uh, if you take collagen like one hour before the exercise, then the the mechanical tension on the joints with is going to like help to stimulate the collagen synthesis in that particular joint. Taking the collagen before the workout is the best time to do so if your concern is like the you know joint aspect. But you can take for the skin health and stuff like that, you can take collagen uh, at any other time of the day. I'll just sneak it in there together with the whey protein so uh, I'll get it together and I'll get the joint benefits more pronounced. I'll also add a little bit of glycine to the mix so three grams of glycine because glycine actually lowers your body temperature which then boosts your physical performance. So one of the reasons why you bonk during exercise has to do with your body temperature overheating. You overheat and cooling down the body before the exercise has been shown to boost endurance specifically and power as well in some studies where you they like cool down the hands with like these mittens or whatever and uh, the like you, you can do more reps after that because your body temperature is cooler and the threshold at which you bonk or when you reach fatigue is uh, higher and uh, glycine actually also just lowers your body temperature and taking the before taking it before the workout helps you to prevent the overheating I'll also add inositol into there inositol very beneficial for even like neurotransmitter production it helps with sleep and uh, physical performance and insulin sensitivity i'll eat like a piece of dark chocolate so there is very nice brand nord code which has this 90 percent dark chocolate It's the best dark chocolate that i've tasted it has actually mct oil as well plus cocoa nib so it's very kind of tasty i'll add like one eat like one square which is maybe like 50 calories and uh, the dark chocolate obviously has a lot of these polyphenols it helps lower blood pressure tasty and actually helps to boost dopamine which then uh, puts you into like the focus zone as well for the workout then creatine together with this citrulline and uh, taurine so we have this gorilla mode and some other like compounds that help with the pump so they help to like 
vasodilation, which then obviously is very beneficial for muscle hypertrophy. It's the non-caffeinated pre-workout stimulant free. I don't like to have this like stim stimulated with caffeine pre-workouts because there's just too much caffeine in there. <laughs> then after the workout, I'll have dinner and uh, have some food. With the food at dinner, I don't really have that many supplements depending on the day. One supplement that I do have on a pretty regular consistent basis is chromium picolinate. So this, you can get this kind of uh, from Amazon, I think, uh, and it has 1000 micrograms of chromium. Now, chromium is mostly known for improving insulin sensitivity and helping with blood sugar regulation. And it does have studies showing that it helps with um, insulin resistance and diabetes. Now, why would I take that? I don't have diabetes. Well, the thing is that chromium also has studies showing that it improves body composition. The way it lowers your blood sugar is by enhancing the actions of insulin and uh, then shuttle more glucose into the cells. So it has like slight anabolic effect by enhancing insulin's action. Now, you do get very limited amount of chromium from foods. Like the higher, highest amounts of uh, chromium foods are like oysters and uh, clams and uh, broccoli and oatmeal and stuff like that. The issue is that the absorption of dietary chromium is only like 1%. <laughs> and uh, you do lose a lot of chromium through sweat as well. So if you work out for one hour, you lose up to like 10 micrograms, which is like half of your RDA. And I also take the sauna almost every day of the week. I take the sauna like four times a week, 20 or 30 minute sauna session. I'll, I'll lose as well like the half RDA, the second half of the RDA. Then you would literally need like 500 to 1000 micrograms of chromium to replenish your chromium stores. Four to five days of the week, definitely on the days that I take the sauna, I take the chromium. If I don't take the sauna and if I don't work out, then I don't take it. If I'm not working out, if I haven't lifted weights, then I'll take another supplement that helps with the blood sugar regulation. And it's actually like a longevity supplement as well because it activates AMPK, suppresses mTOR, increases autophagy. So it's like a fasting mimicking uh, supplement. Uh, berberine, you just don't want to do it after you've lifted weights because otherwise you're not going to see that much uh, improvements. You don't want to suppress mTOR after you've uh, lifted weights. At that point, you want to enhance the mTOR or enhance the recovery and anabolism with the chromium, for example. But on the days that you don't uh, lift, this is the day where you want to kind of uh, accelerate the fasting pathways, which berberine does quite quite nicely. And also with the dinner, I'll take maybe three grams of glycine because glycine also lowers blood sugar levels. And glycine is the one that balances methionine. Any food almost has methionine, especially the animal protein, which is very high in methionine. And uh, methionine restriction is also linked to a long, longer lifespan in uh, different animals. So I'll take glycine for that reason with the dinner. And the last supplements on the list, the evening supplements, so like pre-bed supplements. So my evening like routine starts like an hour before and I'll you know dim down the lights, wear blue blocking glasses. I don't use like any skin creams or stuff like that, but I have started to use this natural skincare uh, brand, Alitura Natural. So they have actually products without any fillers, without any like artificial ingredients, face cleanser. You just, I'll just, you know, wipe my face with this. And then they will also have this gold serum that actually has olive oil, rose water, hemp seed oil, marine collagen. So these products help to you know, help with the skin collagen um, synthesis. The other supplements that I'm taking melatonin, I don't take melatonin every night. And I do stick to like a smaller dose. For example, I'll take only like 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 uh, milligrams, which is uh, almost the amount that your body makes naturally. And uh, the reason I do that, I don't have sleep problems. I sleep fine. But the reason is to do with the the antioxidant benefits of melatonin. So melatonin is a very powerful anti-aging hormone. And uh, you want to like make sure you have adequate amount of melatonin before or while you are sleeping for all these repair processes to work together. If I have like some bad sleep, if I have circadian jet lag, or if I just slept bad the night before and I want to catch up on that, then I'll take like a larger dose, like one to two milligrams. But that only happens like once every two weeks or something like that. The Nordcode magnesium is also good. There's also the bio-optimizers magnesium breakthrough. The Nordcode also has six forms of magnesium. I do get adequate amount of magnesium from my diet. I don't suffer any symptoms of magnesium deficiency. My blood work is uh, very good. So this is more like insurance policy. Like magnesium is hard to come from food and uh, just a few days of the week, I'll just take a little bit of magnesium. I'll take 200 milligrams or 400 milligrams depending on 
how I feel. And uh, on the days that I haven't lifted, on the days that I haven't worked out, I'll also take NAC with the glycine. And the glycine I take actually every day. Like three grams of glycine knocks you out pretty good, <laughs> lowers your body temperature, which helps you to fall asleep, boosts GABA, the uh, relaxation neurotransmitter, and uh, yeah, just makes you feel nice and uh, ready to go to bed. Like in total, if I count it, then uh, yeah, it's almost like 15 15 pills a day. Of course, I've uh, consumed more pills in the past, but this is my current stack that I'm taking. And there are maybe like a few additional supplements that uh, I am taking on and off, maybe like allicin I might take, but generally this is my current routine. And I think that this is giving me, you know, 90% of the results. Like I could try to aim for like some other 10% results with uh, some other supplements, but I think this is a pretty good stack. You can check the links in the description for these products, but do you want to slow down aging and live longer? If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.